All right, this is my function generator and oscilloscope projects uh, created in LabVIEW for engineering programming at OIT. Um, first thing we'll look at is the function generator here. We can create a sine wave, square wave, triangle, or sawtooth, and also just pure DC. Uh, you'll notice that as we change the functions, um, the knobs above will uh, become visible or invisible, uh, depending on which functions we need. Uh, so we can change the frequency, um, the amplitude, or sine wave here. We can add noise to it. We can add uh, DC offset. We also have a reset button for the offset there, so it resets it to zero. Uh, if we add, it, if we go to a square wave, we'll add this duty cycle knob, which allows us to change the duty cycle between zero and 100 uh, percent. Triangle sawtooth waves, and then our DC waveform. Everything disappears except for the offset which is our DC level, and then uh, our noise knob. You also notice that our DC voltage indicator changes up here, whereas for all the other ones, it's an amplitude and frequency indicator. All right, so that's my function generator. Go up to the oscilloscope here. I have the, the uh, function generator going into the oscilloscope, so let's set up a signal here. Uh, let's just do a sine wave, uh, no DC offset. There you go, so there's our sine wave. Uh, we have a position knob down here that we can use to change the position. Uh, this is rescaled if, when you change the volts per division so that you always have uh, fairly good control over the position. You can move it uh, pretty much all the way off the screen if you need to. And then we have a reset knob for that. Uh, we can also save an image here. Okay, so we can also change our volts per division um, here. Zoom in and out for the wa of the waveform. We can also change our milliseconds per division. Uh, we also have some cursors here that we can use to make measurements on the waveform. We have the top cursor and the bottom cursor, and they're listed right there. And they will output the difference between the two values so that you can make measurements. Uh, we also list the peak value, the peak to peak value, and the RMS value of the waveforms. You can also save waveform data by hitting this save file button. And as long as this is held down, it will be saving data to a file. And then we can hit reset time also to reset the time value. All right, we also have an FFT analysis we can do. Uh, the default scale is set to 10 volts and 20 kilohertz. Um, we can use the zoom tool here to zoom in on our waveform where we can make more accurate measurements uh, and, and measure the frequency more exactly. And then we have a reset button that we can use to reset it to the default scale. You can also select between linear and log scales, which is pretty nice if you're looking at something with multiple frequencies and you want to be able to uh, see the different frequency components in relationship to each other. And we also have a save image button for that, so we can save an FTT screenshot there. And then we have an off button. That is my oscilloscope. Thanks for watching.